Another topic that closely relates to standard form is metric prefixes. Now, if, even if you're not familiar with these, you will have heard them used in various different contexts. One example is in distances. Now, we all know that distances can be measured in millimetres, they can be measured in metres, they can be measured in kilometres. And we all know that when we refer to storage space on computers, we can refer to storage space in bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and even terabytes. And that's basically what we mean by metric prefixes. It deals with numbers in thousands, millions, billions, trillions. And then it also deals with smaller numbers where we're dealing with numbers times 10 to the minus 3 or 10 to the minus 6 or 10 to the minus 9. So really, again, it's for handling numbers uh, which are very big and numbers which are very small, but attaching units to them that give them a little bit more uh, context and make them easier to understand and manage. We see this all the time in engineering. What we're looking at on the screen is the information that's provided on the study platform um, for this particular topic. And under the heading of metric prefixes, we have a table um, indicating what each of these prefixes mean. So whenever we hear the prefix kilo, for example, what we're referring to is a number with three zeros on the end. So a kilometer is a thousand meters. From what we've been or already been doing on standard form, we know that a thousand is the same as 10 to the three, adding three zeros on the end. And in the far right hand column, we've got the prefix K for kilo. So kilometers. Um, some of the other ones we might refer to are terabytes. So if you have a hard drive which with a storage space of one terabyte, then that actually stores a million million or a trillion bytes. A trillion written as standard form is one times 10 to the 12. And the prefix for tera is the capital letter T. Now, one of the things that we need to be able to do is to convert from um, a metric prefix to the original number and vice versa. And I'll give you some specific examples. If we refer to the four points at the bottom there, in engineering, when we talk about stresses on components, we quite often refer to the stresses in a value called megapascals. Well, a megapascal is a million pascals. Now, before we do any calculations involving pascals or megapascals, we must always convert them back to the standard international unit or the base unit. So if a question says the stress on the component is 150 megapascals, mega means 10 to the 6 or million. So what we would need to do is add six zeros down here, six zeros onto the 150 in order to convert it into pascals. So 150 megapascals equals 150 million pascals. In another scenario, you might calculate the power produced by a machine, and the power might be 1,550 watts. But the question might ask you to state that power in kilowatts. So we'd refer to our table once again. Kilo means 1,000 or 10 to the 3. So in order to convert the number 1,550 watts to kilowatts, we would need to go back three decimal places, giving 1.55 kilowatts. In another calculation, you might be calculating capacitance in farads, and you might run your calculation and come out with a value of 0 0.0000020 farads. Now, that's, it's not really practical to leave the number in those terms, so the question might ask you to convert that to microfarads. So we would refer to our table, micro, Micro is times 10 to the minus 6, and the symbol is the Greek letter mu. So when converting a number such as 0 0.000020 farads into microfarads, we need to move the decimal place six places forwards, and then add the metric prefix mu, or micro. And then there's one more example. If we had a distance, um, calculated or measured in millimetres, 22,450 millimetres, it wouldn't be practical to leave that answer in millimetres. The number's too big. It doesn't mean anything. We can't visualise what that looks like. So instead, we could convert it to metres, milli being 10 to the minus 3, converting 22,450 millimetres to metres gives us 22.45 metres. 
All we've done is we've shifted the decimal place back three places.